Today we're going to be going to Neil Huffman Acura down in Kentucky. We're going to be going to buy a Subaru WRX. It's one that I've looked at. I've looked really long and hard to find the right Subaru and I feel like this is the exact match of what I'm looking for. It's red, has all the features that I'm looking for. The only thing it doesn't kind of have is the Recaro seats, but that's okay. Um, everything else looks really nice. They're telling me it's a really clean car, so I'm excited to go and see what it's gonna look like actually in person. So today we're gonna be making this video on us going down to Neil Huffman Acura down in Kentucky. My mom is actually gonna be driving me down there so I can drive the car back. I'm also gonna be taking one of my other daughters down there with me as well. Coming into Kentucky. Yeah, I need to get all done. Huffman Acura in Louisville, Kentucky. Can I pick up the car? So here's where it gets real exciting, is when you start up the car. This is what I get. Alright, here's the engine bay with the Cobb intake system is what I'm seeing. It has all these process west parts on it. Um, looks like it has a front mount with all the center cooler piping. Looks weird, like a Perrin rear motor mount but looks like it has some stuff done to it but we'll show you the uh, lovely stuff engine light, ABS light, whatever that means, whatever that means, all that stuff pops up. It drove fine for 100 miles and then that popped up so I am not quite sure what to think about this because I really love this car but 
I bought this car for the reliability, not for it to have issues. So now it seems like I'm gonna have a bunch of issues with this car. So hopefully that's not the case, but we'll figure out and see what happens. So I will be making this video to let you know about the whole situation that happened with me down at Neil Huffman. Um, I want to say they handled it very professionally, but I was told over the phone, I was told by the Facebook ad that I looked at time and time again that this was a push button start, which it was not, it was a key start. I was told this vehicle was in excellent condition, every wheel was curbed, um, every single panel in the car had a scratch, a dent, something. On, on a vehicle that has this low of mileage, it's only a couple years old, you would kind of expect more out of a vehicle like that. but understandably some people just aren't as picky about cars as i am especially when you're spending that kind of money like this isn't a cheap car you know financing something this high just to be as a daily driver is a lot for me it's a lot for me to spend this kind of money so i expect it to at least be a a, a pretty nice car um, considering i just went and bought a 2018 focus and i got a really good deal on it and it was actually in remarkably good shape and the, and the whole reason i went to buy this focus was to buy the Subaru. I actually went to buy a Subaru WRX. It was actually $6,000 more for the same year, same mile, same everything. And it's very hard in this market, um, in this time and age when I went to buy this vehicle, is to find a vehicle that is actually worth the value that is not being asked an astronomical amount more than what the vehicle's worth so the banks will loan on it. So long story short, I did go to buy a Subaru WRX. I ended up buying a Focus. I ended up building that Focus and now I need a, a daily driver to drive. So I'm buying the Subaru WRX. I was told it was an amazing vehicle. Um, it actually ended up not being what I expected. They offered to pay for everything to be fixed, which is awesome. So I'm gonna take them up on that offer and have them fix everything. They're gonna pay for it, which is, which is great, but we'll see how that goes with that as well. Sad to have to take it back, but at this time, I can't deal with all these lights on on the dash, check engine, traction controls off, ABS, hell assist, all these things are on. I can't use my cruise control. You know, this car has been so heavily modified that I can't, I can't really daily drive it. I mean, these vent visors are falling off. There's about four or five dents right here alone. And then there's a dent into the trim. There's dents all down here. There's dents on the passenger side, the whole front bumper scratched up. I mean, this is a literally a year to two year old car and it's been so damaged from whoever owned it that it's just like, why am I buying almost a brand new car and then I've got to turn around and put all this money to fix all the dents, the dents, the scratches. The hood has like 40 rock chips in it. And this car is so new, like I don't understand. Like my focus is the exact same year and it it's in 10 100 times better shape than this thing so i like it but i can't like something that's thoroughly abused and damaged and doesn't even work right the radio in this thing absolutely sucks like the speakers sound like garbage and i'm so big like like i'm like i'm everywhere inside of this the shift pattern on this thing is terrible compared to my focus like look at this thing like it's just and then the, they put the fucking reverse over here and every time i want to shift into sixth it's like i damn near shift into reverse every time so it's just got to go i'm sorry but it's been a great run for a day but gotta go back to the dealership so buying this subaru was not quite what i exactly expected um i expected this car to be in perfect operating condition i did not know that it had been modded I get there and they tell me it has been modded, which is which is okay. I bought an extended warranty on the car. Since it has such low miles, I bought a warranty on it to cover it for 100,000 miles, which is cool. But problem with it is, is the actual car is messed up in a lot of ways. Um, when I went to turn on the car after 100 miles of driving at home, which is about how far it is, the whole entire cluster lit up like a Christmas tree. I'll kind of show you some videos of that as well. But to make matters worse, it got dark. I went to turn on the headlights. The headlights don't work at all. There is no headlights in the car. And I feel bad for Neil Huffman because Neil Huffman paid a company to do a thorough inspection on this vehicle. And you can see where they checked off all these things and, and they never checked any of those things. They paid to have this done, almost $380 to have this done. And nobody checked any of these things, but they said they did, which is crazy. So I got sent off in this car. I have no headlights. 
the thing is lit up like a Christmas tree in the instrument panel. So they have given me the option to bring the vehicle back, trade it in on something else, or just take the vehicle back and they'll take the vehicle back. Um, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm gonna give it a couple days because this is the weekend and then I'm gonna see what is gonna be the best idea for myself and my family. So I will make that decision based upon those, those horrible things that I've been through with this already and it's only been one day and I just got it home. I just wanna make the right decision and not take it back just because I'm mad about a couple things. But I also don't wanna get into a vehicle which I just looked at the Carfax. This vehicle's been to multiple car auctions. So I'm scared to death this vehicle has just been tampered with, destroyed, and nobody wants it. Um, so I'm feeling like I'm leaning more towards just taking the vehicle back, but I'll, 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 in this video, I'll let you know what I plan on doing. Well, it was nice while it lasted, but we need reliability and you have too many issues. So you're gonna go back to the dealership and we're gonna get something else probably a Honda or Toyota because this bad boy is just way too unreliable so that thing's way more reliable than this and that's sad so I've made the decision on what I want to do I'm gonna go ahead and take the vehicle back um, they have agreed to let me test drive a new Accord and a new CRV so that is what I'm going to actually do. I'm going to actually test drive a new Honda Accord and a new Honda CRV. Um, both are fully loaded models. Both are what I'm looking for. But the biggest thing I was looking for is something that was all wheel drive, something that would get good gas mileage, a decent, decent gas mileage, let me put it at that. But something that's dependable as well. Um, the Subaru is just not dependable. It doesn't get the greatest gas mileage either. And it's extremely small it's not very big so i'm gonna lean more towards buying something that's a little bit bigger but i don't want my i'm i'm replacing this daily driver i had a 2007 crv and it got 22 miles to the gallon i can't replace a brand new vehicle with something that gets 22 miles to the mile, a gallon again so from what i'm reading on the crvs they get on average of around 35 to 38 miles per gallon so if that is true i'm gonna lean more towards the crv over the accord so i'm gonna go look at this crv it is a touring model which is the highest model which is a turbo model um, it is black with black leather interior and everything i'm going to test drive it me and my girlfriend are going to go back down there down to kentucky again we're going to take the subaru back down we're going to see what's going to happen hopefully they'll just take it back this will be an easy process and everything will go great and we'll just trade it in and get a new crv if not a new accord we'll see what happens Goodbye WRX, say goodbye to you one last time. It was a nice little ride for the one day, but now we're in the CRV. So we test drove the CRV. We absolutely love the CRV, and this is a decision that's more <laughs> based upon my girlfriend's decision than mine, but she likes the CRV. So I think that's what I'm gonna go towards. I, I really like the Accord as well, but I think the CRV is gonna be a much better suit for us and our family. It's larger, it's 38 miles a gallon, it's leather, it's fully loaded, remote start, has every feature imaginable. So I think that's basically what I'm gonna go for is we're gonna, we're gonna just take it back, trade me out for the CRV. He is actually, this is how great of a salesman and as a company Neil Huffman is. They have agreed to take the car back. They've also agreed to give me my extended warranty for free. Um, they've also agreed to fix some other things, do some other things for me for my inconvenience, pay my mother for her time to come down here. And I wanna give Neil Huffman a huge shout out for that because they didn't have to do that. They could have just said, you know what, just give us the damn car back and let, let's call it a day. But they actually went above and beyond, got me another vehicle, got me a better vehicle in my opinion um, for a better rate and um, on top of that gave me money to my mom for her time gave me you know some kickbacks as well for having to come back down here multiple times so i want to thank neil huffman for that um, they didn't have to do that but that to me is good business if you know if you, if you buy a vehicle and it's not what you expected and you know it's not it's not their fault either they had this vehicle thoroughly inspected but it just wasn't exactly what either one of us thought it was. Um, that's probably why it's been to multiple auctions. It's been destroyed by multiple people. Who, kn who knows, to be honest with you. But uh, at this point, we're just gonna take the vehicle back, um, get the CRV, and 
go from there. So I'm excited to see what we do with the CRV and you know, at least I'll have a daily driver every day that gets good gas mileage I can fit all my kids in and we can go anywhere we want and not have to worry about anything. I'm also gonna get an extended warranty on it to cover for 100,000 miles as well, even though it'll probably last 300,000. My 2007 CRV, I just sold it with 240,000 miles on it. The only thing I've had to replace is a starter. So pretty good vehicle. So we are driving the CRV back. Um, we just got it back home and absolutely love it. It's actually a lot nicer than what I expected. Um, with it being new, it's a lot different than my 2007, which is pretty awesome. But at the same time, it is almost like a luxury vehicle. It's crazy. You would never think that a CRV would be like a luxury vehicle, but this thing is fully loaded. And I have to say, I absolutely love every part of it. So I'll be doing a write up on the CRV as well and all the features and you know things that I like about it. Some of the things that I don't like about it. I will, uh, I will let you guys know more information about that as well, because we're going to be doing a lot more ride alongs and reviews with other vehicles in a new show that we'll be having coming out in 2022.